Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Harmon Chaos. I hope you're absolutely all having a blessed day. On this episode, I am checking out Cocker Khan's cover of Iris by the Cuckoo Dolls. That took me three takes to get that right. We out here. Uh, but yeah, so uh, this song was recommended to me a plethora of times on my last uh, Cocker Khan video that I did about his Tennessee Whiskey song. So yeah. Um, with all that being said, let's just jump into it. But before that, really quick, thank you so much to my members, Vladimir Chupin and Jennifer N for supporting the channel directly. It really does mean a whole lot to have your guys' backing. If you would like to join and get ac early access to all uploads and access to members only content, feel free to uh, click the link in the description down below or the button somewhere that says join. And yeah, with all that being said, let's just jump into it. And I give up forever to touch you Cause I know that you feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't want to go home right now I honestly, if I'm being completely honest with you I, I never knew the name of this song And I didn't know it was by the Cuckoo Dolls Huh? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, you know, it's good. I'm like, yeah, let's play a song. I had no idea that, that that this was that song. Interesting. Okay. Um. Also, I love the because that one it, like has a lot more of like the rock undertones to it. So I love like the orchestral, dis like the orchestral angle that he attacked this with. Like, so good. And all I can taste is this moment. And all I can breathe is your life. And sooner or later it's over I just don't want to miss you tonight I also love the way that he's singing this because in Tennessee Whiskey he was using a lot more of like the um the brashness of his voice like the the grittiness and just that like ra I guess raspy would be the best I use two additional words but raspiness of his voice because you know that's what the song Tennessee Whiskey calls for but then with this song he's dialed that back a lot it's still there because I mean that's an intrinsic quality of his voice so we can only do so much about it so it's still there a little bit but he like has pulled it back so much that it's not like the main thing standing out front it's like an undertone and I love the way that, like that, that just that texture that it adds to the song. And then he belts it out right there, dude. So good. When everything's meant to be broken, I just want you. And then just having like the fade out, but then like the slow swell back with the music. <sighs> I'm enjoying this. This is such a creative spin on this song. I, like, I love this take. And you can't fight the tears that ain't coming or the moment of truth in your life. And everything seems like the movie. And then when he's singing, he just like slowly introduces a little bit of the raspiness, but then pulls it back out. Man, he's such a talented singer. Why have I? It took me two years, almost two full years of doing this channel to like discover his stuff. And I've been covering international artists for like well over a year now. Why haven't I heard of him before? Bruh. Can you bleed just to know you? back hold on Thing seems like the movie. Yeah, you sorry i'm running the back i felt something felt weird like as if one of my left uh in-ear monitor wasn't fully connected it still hasn't changed but uh sorry it was completely distracted not paying attention Please just to know I 
I am very quickly becoming a massive fan of his music. It's it is just so good. The passion and the intensity that he puts into his voice, but then also at the same time, like playing around with the raspiness and the intrinsic qualities to give different effects. It sounds a lot of everything that I just said sounds really pompous, but it's so good. It is so good. I just want you to know who I am. And then he's feeling the instrumental too. Let's go, man. I didn't know he could go that high. Dude, okay. Okay, what what kind of training does he have? Like, does he have operatic training? Because that almost sounded borderline like like formal opera training right there with like the subtleties of the fluctuation when he was holding the high note, but also the way that he was supporting at the same time, holding that high note, like, huh? Does he have formal training? And if so, where, like what kind? Cause that was phenomenal. And then fully like coming down before going back into the vert or, Verse, core, I don't know. Bridge, maybe. <laughs> it also looks like he might have, like, other formal musical training, because, like, or he could just be feeling the music, but it kind of looks like he's conducting a little bit. I might just be reading way too far into that, but, eh. Was it a, that's a, it's not a key change, but it doesn't sound like he flipped from the major chord to the minor chord. I don't know. Something changed there, and I don't know what it is. But it sounds real cool. Cause it almost sounds, it almost sounds like he's, he took it a half step down, but I can't, I cannot tell what happened, but I love it. But yeah, that was Cocker Khan's cover of Iris by the Google doll, by the Goo Goo Dolls. That was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I'm, I was, I'm such a fan of the way that that was done. But yeah, if there's another song that you'd like me to check out by Cocker Con or anyone else, feel free to drop it in the comments down below and I will be sure to check it out. With all that being said, I'm a bounce. I'll catch y'all next time. God bless.